Colorado snowpack is 100% of average or more and growing every week. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a skier was killed outside of Telluride yesterday when officials say a snowboarder triggered an avalanche that buried the skier on a skin track. The CAIC reports the slide happened yesterday morning in the Temptation Zone just east of the ski area when the border entered from above. That slide ran 2,000 vertical feet. Search and Rescue found the skier's body this morning on the Bear Creek Trail below after searching unsuccessfully yesterday afternoon. The victim and suspected snowboarder have not been identified. This is the fifth avalanche death of the season season in Colorado and third in less than a week. February is historically the deadliest month for avalanche. Meanwhile, at Heavenly in Lake Tahoe, a skier missing since Monday was found dead today of apparent suffocation after falling into a tree well. CBS in San Francisco reports 20% of skier deaths happen this way. There's snow in the forecast again this week, with several inches coming to summit by Saturday and up to three feet to our south. Snowpack is 100% or better across the entire state, with 133% of average at Fremont Pass and 129% at Hoosier Pass. Last season, Summit County and the Upper Colorado River Basin barely cracked 100%. Southern snowpack is just as good, with averages of 119% in the Telluride area and 120% near Durango. Snowpack there last season? was as low as 50% of average. A new development at River Run Village in Keystone will cost an estimated $150 million, bringing a hotel and condo complex to the base area, the first new lodging there in more than a decade. Scott Russell with the One River Run Project. It'll be a shot in the arm for the River Run Village area. One River Run is planned for a 12-acre plot at the base of the gondola. That land sold for $5.6 million, closing earlier this month. It includes the Hunky Dory parking lot and nearby ski school building. We're going to tear down the ski school to build our property project and then put the ski school into our project. That's the plan. Developers understand that skiers are concerned about losing parking at Hunky Dory. Project partner Chevy Rashidi owns the Ink Spot coffee shop nearby, but say the project includes a parking structure and will not impact parking during construction because of county requirements. We have to complete our replacement parking prior to the first ski season after we break ground so that it is not lost for a ski season. Summit County is reviewing site plans now. Construction could begin this summer or fall and last two to three years. In sports, the Avalanche played the Jets tonight. Game time is 6.30. The Nuggets are off until Friday for the Mavericks. In World Cup ski racing news, women are in Switzerland tomorrow for day one of downhill training. Men race again Friday for Alpine Combined in Bulgaria. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency. All Summit High Sports are off today. High school ski season concludes tomorrow and Friday with the State Alpine and Nordic meets in Durango. Racing opens with Slalom and Mass Start Classic. Tigers Wrestling sends two athletes to the state meet at Pepsi Center tomorrow. Senior Alex Barella and junior Brendan Daniel. Best of luck to the boys. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.